This episode of Six Five Guys is brought to you by Defiance Machine, defying tradition with innovation. Our Bros Rifles, precision on another level. JC Steel Targets, the industry leader in quality AR500 steel targets. Hi, welcome to 6-5 Guys. I'm Ed Mobley. And I'm Steve Lawrence. Guys, you can see some beautiful rifles in front of us, which we're really proud to show off. These are our new 223 trainer rifles. And before we get into any of the details, we've got two organizations, two companies that we want to thank. Uh, first off, we want to thank the good folks at Defiance who provided us with the Deviant Actions uh, for this build. So thanks a lot, folks. We really, really appreciate yeah. that. Thanks, Glenn, Mike, and, and the crew at Defiance. And then also Arbo's Rifles. Uh, big thank you to our gunsmith, Travis, for the actual construction and build and assembly of these precision rifles. They're actually real accurate shooters. Oh yeah, I mean, they're, they're, I mean, they're, they're hammers. And, and I've taken mine out to 900 yards and it's just amazing how far you can you can push a, a 75 grain bullet. Yeah. I mean, you, you can actually take it out further. But again, our intention is to use these, you know, 200 yards mm -hmm. to practice all of our positional barricade, yep. you know, stuff like that. Now, you know, in fact, you guys may have noted a trend in a lot of folks building 223 trainers. So why would you actually go and invest the money to actually build another custom rifle besides a match rifle? And for us, it comes down to simple economics. Well, and barrel wear too. I mean, last year I, uh, I went through two barrels on my 6.5 yeah. by 47. And, and if you don't have a backup rifle, you know, you're out your, your rifle for you know, a week yeah. to several weeks while it's getting rebarreled. Yep. This uh, allows us to get all of the training in that we need to because we've configured our rifles to be very similar, if not exactly as our match rifles for this season. Yeah, so, so in my case, as far as the, as the build philosophy, this is an exact duplicate of my match rifle. And the only difference will be the color. The scope will be the same, trigger, everything will be identical, barrel length, weight, the, the whole schmear. It'll, it'll be as close as one could possibly get two rifles of two different calibers mm -hmm. to be. Yeah. So um, my, my rifle is going to be very similar. There's just going to be a few minor uh, differences. And when we actually do our other episode around our match rifles for 2016, I'll kind of go through those. But, um, you know, slightly different optic. I have a USO uh, LR17 on, on this one, uh, different from the Beast. Didn't want to spend another, you know, four plus grand on, on an optic. But, um, you know, the other benefit of a 223 is, uh, besides barrel wear, is just the cost of the ammo. So, you know, we're putting uh, together and loading, you know, thousands of rounds of our own 223 ammo, uh, which is going to be a lot more cost effective in terms of practice than loading up, uh, you know, a 6.5 by 47 caliber, which we shoot. Yeah, because I'm loading up, I'm just using Lake City brass, mm -hmm. discarded brass from you know, that XM193 that, that you can, can purchase. 75 grain Amaxes, which are very accurate, but very cost effective mm -hmm. bullet. XBR8208 and cranking them out on my Dylan, And they are just stupid accurate. I mean, just, I mean, it kind of makes you wonder what's wrong with your other rifles because they just don't shoot 
as as accurately. Yeah, I mean, as, this could I mean, actually it, be a, yeah. a match rifle for a, a short game, right? Something inside oh, 600 yards. In fact, we were out uh, yeah. last weekend at Rock Lake Rifle Range, and you were hitting targets at 800 plus yards with this. Oh so. yeah, yeah. I, I got out uh, just just under 900. Uh, yards with this now you know you're, you're, you're kind of getting out there it's hard to really tell if you impact something with a 223 bullet. oh yeah if you're not on the target it's yeah. kind of like the ground to swallow yeah i was just up. spotting paint coming off it that's exactly it. but but that just says what, what what this is is capable of but from a from a practice standpoint the the uh the report is is very similar to what you would get with your match rifle mm -hmm. so if you're trying to get over noise sensitivity mm -hmm. This definitely helps with that. In fact, uh, just a note on that, you guys will notice that we don't have muzzle brakes on these rifles. And the reason why I wanted to maximize the felt recoil just so right. it would feel similar to actually shooting a larger caliber because there's, yeah. these are so light recoiling. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of recoil, but not yeah, much. Yeah, I mean, not much. And, and again, I mean, just a pleasure to, to shoot. Yeah. I mean, today, I, I in, in the practice session today, went through a little over 200 rounds mm -hmm. and of, of quality shooting and, and just the ability to, to make that, uh, to work on the muscle memory, to work on the trigger control with twice the number of rounds that you yeah. would with your match rifle. It's just a, a huge Well, exactly, benefit. to crank out that many rounds uh, for practice, you know, on, you know, when I reload my 6.5, caliber width is a single stage whereas you know with these rifles we will actually be using a progressive or auto progressive press in fact you guys will notice uh, we're here in front of my new my new bench in the garage so I will soon be putting together my Hornady lock and load press here to load 223 and I'm going to be doing it by the thousands now another question that that folks have is is about the the magazine uh, for the 223 now the AI223 mags used to be the industry standard, but they stopped making them. Mm -hmm. So you've, you've got a, a couple of options. You have the Accurate mag, which is, is very similar to an AICS magazine, but they, they have an insert here that allows it to, to work with uh, 223, or some people do 223 AI. Mm -hmm. The, the same magazine will work. And you've got another option. Yeah, this one is made by mdttac.com uh, is the website. Uh, this is a polymer mag. And what we found in order to at least have it feed reliably within this. this well, not, not, not so much feed, but just get in there. Yeah, just, just, to, just yeah. to get in. Um, we actually had to file off or shave a little bit of off this, uh, this rib right. here. Yes, yeah, so if you're using an XLR, you, 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 you want to do that modification because what it's doing is that little ridge is just interfering with the, the trigger guard. Yeah. You're, you're not going to have that, that issue with, say, something like this where... You've got you know, the, the Seekins bottom metal. Yeah, you've got yeah. the Seekins bottom metal. So that, that's a nice magazine, like 39 yeah. bucks from Yeah, from 39 mile 99 high. from Mile High. Yeah, and the cool thing about that, that magazine is with the 75 grain a maxes i mean you're really really getting long and and this magazine that comes right up to the tip of that mag but this yeah. magazine can accommodate it yeah now the accurate mag as it as it comes from the the factory it has just a little lip here that from the factory you you can't get these longer rounds in there now i'm not sure why they put that little lip on there because when you take it apart and look at it, it's, it's very thin. It's, it's not that substantial and, and you can just file it off. And, um, so I'll just, I'll provide a, a picture mm -hmm. of, you know, what this looks like when it's all taken apart, but it's really easy to remove the, the bottom part here. You've got a plastic clamshell and they're just two little bits of plastic here. You can file or take off with like a, uh, you know, a fine saw blade, and mm -hmm. then you can get the 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 longer the longer rounds in here. Yeah. yeah. Well, guys, for uh, in case you're interested, why don't we kind of quickly go through the build spec on the 223 trainers? Um, because I'm sure you know we'll probably be getting some questions otherwise. So we'll just go from uh, stem to stern on this, starting with mine. So here we have a Broughton 
uh, 7.1 light varmint contour barrel. Mine's at 24 inches and it is shredded. I've got a thread protector here so I can put a silent or a, a can on there if I want to. It's sitting in an XLR carbon chassis. So this is their lightweight version. Uh, so my mash rival will actually be in a similar chassis. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different this year, see how it goes. Uh, of course, we have the Defiance Deviant Action. Uh, it's, in, it's in the white along with the barrel, so uh, I kind of like that, that look, the, the silver and the black look. And then I have, uh, for now, I'm running a Jewel, Jewel Trigger, and um, I'm waiting for Huber Concepts to send me out a Huber, so I'm going to be... Um, You'll be running Hubers in both. Yeah. I'll be running Hubers actually in, in three rifles, so I'm um, still waiting on that. Mm -hmm. And then to top it off, as far as the optic, I've got a USO LR17 with an H59 horse reticle. And then these are sitting, or that, that optic is sitting in the American Rifle Company uh, rings. So I'm also going to be going to Harris this season for uh, a bipod. So right now um, I've got a Harris 6-9 um, bipod with a swivel. And this is on a quick, dis quick disconnect using the uh, American Defense uh, QD system. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. What do you got? Yeah, so my rifle has the, the same uh, barrel, but it's at 26 inches, uh, just like my, my match rifle's at, at 26. It's threaded, so when I uh, shoot in my backyard, I, I put a suppressor on there. Again, the, the scope, this is my, uh, my second uh, Vortex Razor HD Gen 2, just like the one on my match rifle. Same rings, uh, the Seekins uh, one inch matched uh, pair rings. Same, same action, the, the Defiance uh, Deviant action. And of course, uh, just like my match rifle, I'm gonna be running the, uh, the Manners uh, T2A stock. And I'm gonna continue running the, the Harris uh, uh, bipod uh, this season. I may go from having it you know, connected to the stud to actually putting it on a rail with a, a quick disconnect. The only thing I have to figure out is being left-handed, the orientation of the lever kind of interferes, you know, when you do the one leg up, one leg down mm -hmm. for uh, barricades. So I'll have to uh, figure that out. Right now I'm, I'm running uh, jewel triggers in all my rifles, so, um, I've got this dual trigger set at the same weight as my uh, match rifle, and yeah, that's that. That's essentially you know what what I did. I mean, I even got down to the point of of even measuring the uh, the gap here between the rings so that everything would be identical, absolutely identical. And that's why I put them in like a different color is so that I could immediately identify which rifle is which <laughs> you know which which uh, which rifle is is which but I tell you this thing is just a hammer I mean I just it's it's just yeah. I'm so so pleased yeah I mean, it it's, yeah. it feels good I I just get tickled pink you know when uh, you know you're just stacking rounds oh, right yeah. through the same hole now I purchased a bunch of the XM 193 ammo in anticipation of getting this rifle, you know, that's like the mill serp uh, ammo, the, the Lake City ammo. And I mm -hmm. encourage Steve to purchase a bunch of it too. <laughs> that was an experience shooting it. <laughs> when you shoot it, it is, some lots are one MOA and, and, and an honest one MOA, mm -hmm. one MOA. But those lots are few and far between. It's more like it's, a one and a half. It's like a one and a half, and then it, it, it throws in some interesting flyers. Yeah. So you could probably use that if you're like practicing offhand on, on a larger target. Yeah, I was trying to hit yeah. small targets today using that cheap ball ammo. It um, just, and I, all I got out of it was just brass. <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, you, you need the brass to, yeah. to reload. Yeah. But I tell you, man, you know, this load with the, the 75 A maxes. Man, I mean, you just you just couldn't miss. And these 75 A Maxes have almost become the de facto uh, bullet. It seems whether you're shooting uh, mm -hmm. 223 uh, in a bolt action or um, 223 AI. Yeah. 
So very, so very excited. To say we're happy about our rifles would be an understatement. We're absolutely delighted. Um, again, huge thank you to our partners that are working with Defiance, Arbros, and also JC Still because we practice with, with their Still. Yeah, that's one thing I have noticed. You know, we thought that the, you know, 223 would be milder on the Steel. <laughs> No, nah, man. It, <laughs> it knocked off. I knocked that target off. Well, off no, the, but well, you, well, you left the range before yeah. before I picked it up. You know, there's a saying: speed kills. It's pretty well pocked up. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. this the, 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 that's uh, yeah, that that's I guess one of the things about uh, now you know why I kept on telling you not to shoot my targets with you, your two two three with my <laughs> AR exactly exactly. <laughs> so uh, you know, get, there's 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 give and take with everything, yeah. I guess, right? If you guys don't have a 223, uh, definitely take a look at it. You know, we give our hearty recommendation to, uh, you know, take a look at um, Arbro's rifles as well as uh, Defiance for your hardware uh, and rifle needs. Absolutely, yeah. So um, I think that's it for this episode. Hey, folks, if you have any uh, questions or, or comments, uh, definitely let us know. You know, maybe some of you have uh, trainer rifles, maybe in 223. Mm -hmm. Or, or other cartridges. Uh, Check definitely. out our website. Yeah. We're going to have a detailed write-up on this, as with all videos. If you like this episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up uh, on YouTube and share it with your friends on Facebook. Remember, folks, life's an adventure. Stay on target. <laughs>